Hello guys and welcome to another update from Israel. So the weather in Israel continues to shock. Not only Israel received massive amounts of rain that caused local flooding, but also a huge hailstorm hit Israel yesterday. And of course it's snowing in the north. And you know, it is not unusual for Israel to get rain and even snow during the winter time. It did happen in the past. But this time the amount of rain and snow is quite extraordinary. Now this intensive weather has struck the whole region, so not only Israel but also Syria and Lebanon. And of course for Israel it's a great blessing because this region does not receive a lot of rain. So when it gets rain, the people are very happy. But guess who is not happy? Hamas. Hamas is suffering a lot because of this rain because as you know Hamas now hides in the tunnels and when it rains it starts to flood those tunnels so Hamas are like rats that are escaping now uh, flooding tunnels what you see now is a footage showing you the vast network of tunnels under the Gaza Strip and there's just no end to those tunnels. You know, they had prison cells there where they kept the hostages uh, with bathrooms. So everything was prepared and they just go and go those tunnels for kilometers long. There is just enormous, enormous network of tunnels that the Hamas have built for years. And they spent so much money on those tunnels that it's mind blowing. Now, what is really disturbing is that those tunnels are connected to United Nations official buildings like the UNRWA building. The IDF has provided evidence of this connection of the tunnels with the facilities that belonged to ORNA. Here is a footage showing you this connection between this tunnel of Hamas to the ORNA building. So uh, the IDF soldier is walking through this tunnel and then getting out at the end of it in the courtyard of the Orna building. And I remind you, Ornva is an organization that is officially part of the United Nations. It is run by the United Nations. And now the IDF has provided so much evidence that the UNRWA organization was working with Hamas. People that were employed by UNRWA were part of Hamas. They cooperated with Hamas. And the money that was sent from all over the world was used by Hamas through UNRWA. So here on this footage, you can see the end of this tunnel, which ends in the official building of UNRWA. So there is no doubt that Hamas was cooperating with the UNRWA in Gaza. And this is very important to remember because Israel is very often accused of attacking hospitals, of attacking facilities, international facilities. But the problem is that those organizations were not neutral. They actually cooperated with Hamas. Here is another example of a hospital in Khan Yunis that was used by Hamas. So once Israel got hold of this hospital, they found military bases of Hamas. And this is a war crime. If a hospital is used as a base, it's a war crime. And yet Hamas was doing it and nobody is criticizing Hamas. So once again, here you can see the map showing you Gaza and uh, progress of the IDF military and I am showing you this map every week so you can understand what is the progress every week that the IDF is making so here in the orange color again is the humanitarian zone and now you can see the progress that the IDF made from last week since last week IDF has made additional territory gains so it controls now totally Khan Yunis and also gained some territory around Rafa. And as I was saying last week, Rafa is the next city that the IDF needs to take control because that's where the hostages are held. 
We know this because the IDF has rescued the first two hostages from this location. So here you can see the images of the two Israeli citizens being saved from the enemy territory. And you can see a lot of emotion happening. So in a moment, I will show you the images showing you the rescue mission, some of the images from the rescue mission. Of course, I can't show you everything on YouTube because it is it would be banned. I will be publishing this extended material on my Rumble channel. So uh, if you want to check it out, check out my Rumble channel. I will put a link in the description so you can see it. But for now, I just want to show you this image of the Israeli hostages that are now in the hospital and on their way home. So check it out. Now, what an epic moment that was. Those really, really brave heroes risked their lives to save two of their own. And this comment just is incredible. Those true heroes, really tough men, are saying, we love you. It's showing so much emotion, sensitivity. This is what the IDF is. There is no other army like that in the world. Now, I don't know if you remember, but in the Bible, we have a similar story like that, which is connected to King David. So when David and his men leave the city of Ziklag, a Philistine city, and they are actually at another Philistine city of Gat, uh, then the city of Ziklag is attacked by the Amalekites, who take the people left behind by David, including wives and children. So when David gets to Ziklag with his men and they see the destruction, they just start crying because it's so horrible. They cry so hard to the point that they don't have even enough strength to cry. That's how miserable they are. And in this critical moment, David mobilizes the men to go and rescue them. And with some of his men actually staying behind because they are so tired and they cannot pursue it, David goes with a very small force and takes back all the hostages, everything that was stolen, nothing was lost. And this is just one of many stories in the Jewish history of how the Jewish people will do everything, will use any resource to save even one Jewish person. That's why Israel will sometimes exchange thousands of terrorists for just one Jewish person that was taken captive because it's so important.
Now I have more material to show you, including a very disturbing material showing you the actual attack of Hamas on October 7th and uh, really the face of the devil of the people that committed horrible crimes. Uh, so obviously I cannot show you this on YouTube, but uh, I will be putting that material on my Rumble channel, so make sure you check it out. Thank you for your attention. I hope this report was helpful for you. I always try to do a report once a week and give you a summary of what is happening in Israel. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit that bell notification button. Thank you also for everybody who's supporting the channel. If you would like to support the channel, the best way to do it is through Patreon and PayPal. I will leave links to my Patreon and PayPal pages in the description of this video. Have a great day. Shalom.